I hope you've enjoyed learning about the annual growth cycle of a grapevine, its anatomy and how important site selection is when choosing a location to establish a vineyard. Next week, I'll introduce you to some of the practices we use and decisions we make to manage grapevines as well as the importance of berry sampling and knowing when to harvest the fruit. You'll also again hear interviews from viticulturists and get the opportunity to test your knowledge on the topics covered. But before I go, it's funky fact time. While grape berries have ideal composition for us to make wine, have you ever wondered why grape berry develops the way it does? It wasn't so we could make wine, but more to do with attracting birds. So during the first phase of berry development, the berry accumulates compounds that are unattractive to birds, such as high acidity. This is done to give the seeds in a berry the opportunity to mature. Then in the second phase of development, berries accumulate sugar and the levels of acid and tannin decrease. And in some cases, berries change colour, making them even more attractive to birds. Birds can then deposit the seeds to other locations to ensure the survival of the grapevine. Thanks for joining us again this week and I look forward to sharing more information on the role of viticulture in making wine with you next week.